All right, Cancerians, what do you need to know right now? What is going on for my Cancerians? This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Feel free to swap around the energies. As always, I could be talking to a cross watcher. So let's see where we go. I'm just going to check out what's underneath the deck. I'm going to get some Oracle cards for you. In the extended, I'll pull cards for each Zodiac sign. So if you're dealing with another person, you'll be able to figure out what's going on with them. Okay, so let's see what is happening. I just saw the new moon card, which has shown up a lot in these readings today. Uh, we have a new moon in Sagittarius coming up on December 12th. And that is about... What I'm going to say to you is about what is your intention for 2024? Because the new moon in Sagittarius is an excellent time to set that intention with the universe. Okay, so first we get air. All right. And we are talking about Cancerian energy here. So this can be about like, you know, what's going through your mind? What are you thinking? Where are you? Um, where are you? <laughs> where are you? I feel like some of you Cancerians have kind of like left the building, but your physical body is still here. Like you've really, um, it's not an abdication. It's just like there's something else that's taking up your thoughts. Yes, here's Saturn. This is time um, for a while now. I feel like uh, there's been a person or some kind of preoccupation. Okay, Cancerians. Oh, yeah, veiled. Not really letting anybody know about it quite yet. Um, this is a very spiritual connection. You know, we're talking about Saturn still in Pisces. It's going to be there for a little while. Um, and that is about a spiritual ritual or some kind of, you know, it can be about a twin flame reconnection reunion. Saturn in Pisces though is really about our spiritual practice. And there's something here that is kind of like, maybe it's telepathy. Maybe it's bringing you together with your twin cancer. Um, you have left the building, your, your mind, your energetic essence has left the building. The body is still there though. Okay. The body is still there, whatever that's about. Let's see the cards that are underneath. I'll pull those first are what's going on. Even if you don't see it happening, um, this can be, you know, if you're time traveling, if you're like literally traveling in your energetic space or you're in your dreams to get to another person that, that can be, that can show up like that time traveling. It's definitely, uh, in secrecy. There's something going on uh, in secrecy here. So let's see for cancer. Okay, one more, please. One more. Let's see. All right, very good. Cancer. All right, so get this Knight of Wands. Wow. Knight of Wands, the Five of Swords. I feel like you have a fire sign that is... Um, like a uh, verboten, okay? There's definitely someone who wants to come toward you, but I feel like you're, um, I feel like your Saturn <laughs> is saying, no, not right now, okay? So physically you can't be with this person, not right now. Uh, this is the person that you want, nine of cups, death, Big change is happening here. Three of pentacles and the seven of cups. I like this. Six of swords. Okay. So some of you are recognizing that you know that this, this person is the one you want, right? You know this, the nine of cups. There's some big change happening. So you may not see this big change coming. This person could be getting a divorce. This person could be... Um, ending um or moving okay i could be moving you could be moving you could be ending something and i just feel like there's going to be a time here where it's like what do you want to build now because something is definitely over with that death card so what would you like to build now because you are going to be traveling very soon toward something new there's a space here though and i feel like it could be between let's see there's an ending and then there's space and, and then there's the new, 
Okay, then there's the new. There's a time of planning and thinking and trying to figure out what it is you want. Some of you could be ending a big chapter in your lives, okay? So, Cancer. Ah, in time for Sagittarius season. So, this is, that's quicker than I thought. There's going to be some kind of movement before the end of Sag, which is before we get to Christmas, okay? So, it could be some kind of big ending happening here. So, um, Cancer, you're showing up as the High Priestess. This is the same card. Veiled. Not saying nothing to nobody, okay? Uh, you might not even, <laughs> this might even be like, how dare you read my journal, Mary Jo? <laughs> how dare you tell me what my story is right now? Like, I'm not telling anybody what's going on. Don't talk about my story. Don't tell anybody. There's definitely something in your head. You're in your head a little bit about this, or you're definitely time traveling to another person. All right. Yeah. Hierophant. So we've got uh, Cancer and we've got Taurus here, the Hierophant. Uh, that can be about going toward a Taurus. That can be about going away from a Taurus. Whatever it is, it's the commitment. Okay. So the commitment could be like front and center. Opportunity. I'm going to choose to be committed to my happiness. And I feel like that's something you're holding inside. I feel like you might not be telling other people about this, that there is somebody that makes you happy or something like that. Where are we going here? Hermit. Wow. Temperance. Eight of cups. Okay. I'm going to have something to say about all of this. And page of cups is the outcome. So page of cups is like super light energy. <laughs> there are one, two, three, four, five. Five out of seven are major arcana cards. If you take my tarot class, you understand what that means. It means that we have big radical change happening on the surface. That didn't even happen in this, you don't see it coming part of the reading. This is what's right in your face. So you have a secret about a commitment, something that is taking time to move through. Um, the opportunity is for happiness, for sure. I feel like some of you are being alone, okay? Some of you are deliberately being alone for a while. There could be a Sag, there could be a Virgo, could be a Leo, Taurus, um, uh, Cancerian energy, Scorpio. So I'll pull cards for each zodiac sign in the extended so you know what you're dealing with here. But this is definitely about like, if I'm going to get to my happiness, I have to walk away from something else that was serviceable. Oh, oh, <laughs> yuck. Like, do you want to be called serviceable? Doesn't that make you feel like a utilitarian sweater, like blue sweater, like nondescript blue sweater? Yuck. That doesn't feel good to be felt like you're in a situation that it's serviceable. It serves a purpose. What, what is that purpose? If it's not happiness and not joy, then what is the purpose? And I think that that's the thing you're kind of hiding. Like, it's okay. See how I'm smiling? It's okay. I feel like you had somebody come toward you and your conscience is like, no, do not go toward that person. Do not do that. Even though that's the person you want, do not, do not, do not. So, but right there, something ended for you. And I feel like you've been sleepwalking ever since. Your mindset is somewhere else. Okay. And it's just like, so through the hourglass, those are the days of our lives. All right. Not everybody gets that. But anyway, so um, what I'm really getting here is that the universe kind of stepped in. The universe kind of stepped in and said, OK, you can't just subsist because there's a person that is on your path. You can't just subsist in a serviceable kind of thing. And so there's going to be. Um, some kind of small offering. 
if you walk, if you're walking away from a relationship, I feel like that's you making a small offer or there's going to be some kind of small conversation. Okay. Can I clarify this page of cups, please? Wow. Okay. Two of wands. You got a choice. Knight of cups. Okay. We're stepping up the game here. Six of wands. Isn't that what you're looking for? Because the eight of cups is walking away looking for the ninth cup, which is right here, which is the awareness of what I want. And the 10th cup is the acquisition of what I want. So you're, you have a choice to get what you want. You have a choice to go toward happiness. I feel like you've already decided this. Your body is still in the room, but you have made the decision. All right. The decision is ahead. It's a matter of when or what I'm going to do now in time for Sagittarius season. I don't think we're talking about next year. I think we're talking about this year. I think this decision happened in Sagittarius time. Okay. And how long it takes you to act on it could be a little while because I think it's still a secret. Okay. July. It's going to take a while before everything sort of unfolds here. And especially if there's like commitment and children and stuff like that. Like there's a lot here. There's a lot here, but your body has left the building. Okay. So I don't think there's any turning back from that. I'm going to pull cards for each Zodiac sign in the extended and we'll see where we go. This is on your path. So eight months, right? July, eight months. Yeah. Eight months before this really kind of turns into something, something tangible. Let's see what happens in the meantime. All right. We'll do that in the rest of the reading. Link is below. If you want to continue on cancer, I'll see you over there. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.